Hey guys, welcome back to Film Read. You all know about the show My 600 Pound Life, where women and men first appear as dangerously obese and completely change their lifestyle and get bypass surgery to lose the pounds. But have you even wondered how they even gained that much weight in the first place? Well, that's what we'll talk about in the video today. But before we get into that, make sure to like the video, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when we upload a video. My 600 Pound Life first premiered in 2012 and is still airing with a total of 9 seasons. In each season, 8 people who weigh over 600 pounds join and do their best to get their weight under control over a course of one year. They appear as obese people, but barely anyone talks about how or why they even put on that much weight in the first place. According to Stanford Healthcare, a lot of factors come into play that affect how people become obese. Obviously, one of the factors is your diet. That includes how much you eat on a daily basis and also what kind of foods you eat. Besides diet, another factor is your metabolism. If you have a quick metabolism, your hormones will give you a feeling of satisfaction due to which you can regulate your appetite to a huge extent, but not everyone has a quick metabolism. Except all that, your genes also matter. Everyone stores and processes food in a different way depending on their genetic components. The way you live your life can also be a factor of obesity. If your work involves a lot of physical work or you spend time working out, you'll obviously lose weight unlike people who sit in front of a computer all day and don't even have a proper workout routine. Many of the patients in My 600 Pound Life gained weight due to that, and some of them were so large from the start that even if they wanted to, they couldn't move. That ends up making them gain even more weight. Another reason for the weight gain is the fact that some of the patients had overeating habits from the start. When we're at a young age, everyone tries to find happiness and pleasure in something, and food is the first thing that a child gets that comfort from. Since the start, when you give a baby milk or food, that comforts them and makes them stop crying. When people grow up, it's normal to find the same kind of comfort again in things like food, and a lot of people end up finding happiness in food, especially sweet food. This leads them to unhealthy overeating habits. Another reason to gaining sudden weight can be living through a trauma or tragedy. Most patients on the show have had weight issues since the start, but not all of them. You'll know Marla. She had no issues with her weight until she encountered a huge trauma in her life. Marla wanted to break up with her boyfriend of the time, but he held her hostage at gunpoint, and when Marla was found by the police, he ended up shooting two police officers and escaped. By the time he was finally caught, Marla had already shut herself away from the world and had gained more than 700 pounds. According to the Psychiatric Times, post-traumatic stress can be a huge factor to developing eating disorders, so Marla's reaction is completely normal. Another reason to weight gain is the post-traumatic stress disorder of growing up with drug-addicted parents. Growing up with one or both parents addicted to drugs can deeply traumatize the children. Children with addict parents have a high chance of developing addict habits themselves. Not only drug addict habits, sometimes they end up developing addiction to food. When your parents are addicts, no matter how much you try and scream at them, they won't listen. They won't care. It leads to a lot of people shutting themselves in their own room and eating away their sadness. That was definitely the case for Nicole on the show. She already had overeating habits, and due to her drug addict parents, it got a lot worse. Not only PTSD, but also poor mental health and having anxiety or depression can lead to eating disorders. Overeating and an increased risk of anxiety and depression are linked, according to Science Daily. Most of the patients in the show have battled with anxiety or depression or even both. In order to make the situation better, they turn to food to feel better, which ends up just making it worse too. However, it's not always an eating disorder or the person's own fault that they gain that much weight. For most people, maintaining their weight is as easy as managing their calories and exercising and all that. However, that's not always true. According to the show's physician, Dr. Now, obesity is not always the patient's choice. For some people, it's actually a metabolic and genetic disease and has to be treated as a disease. And that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more entertaining videos. Also, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on anything in the future. What are your thoughts on My 600 Pound Life? Let us know in the comments section, and we'll see you guys in the next one.